Meanwhile, the Alley Bridge in Clarendon is now in need of urgent attention. Initially, it was rendered closed as a usual precautionary safety measure against Beryl's floodwaters. However, the signs left behind show progressive danger. We go to Carlin Brown for her before and after. Identifying the meaning of road signs quickly and accurately is important. You notice that sign, it says, be flood ready. There are actually several signs along this road that motorists ought to be paying attention to. Now, just about 100 meters down, the other sign reads, do not enter when flooded. Now, just in case the flooding takes place, that gate down there, it closes. For now, it is opened. And that's a good sign. Interestingly, this jaw-dropping information, Alley Road is also loved by these endangered species. And just in time, we stopped the police midway Clarendon's infamous Alley Bridge, duty-bound hours before Hurricane Beryl proved its strength. In those days, your team out on the road, I was just making notes of the signs along this, this, this thoroughfare, which for me is very good. But the gate is open, which also is a good thing. Well, the gate will be closed as soon as we get the, the, the green light to go ahead. Uh, we're asking persons to abide, stay inside, go to the shelters, ensure that you're safe. And you and your team been covering a lot uh, of areas? We went to Point and Cartage, Rocky Point, Lionel Town. And we're going through Water Lane, uh, went through Ali Gale, and we're going all the way back to my friends. Little did we know we would have been among the last to walk on or drive across while the structural elements were intact. Yeah. Well, Ali Bridge, Ali Bridge is a dangerous bridge, you know. Ali Bridge and the whole Jamaica know that. It's a bridge like Flat Bridge. It's a dangerous bridge. And any rain of all the right way, nothing can pass in or out. They must go Yorktown side. See? So we have to know that Ali Bridge is a place where you know, play with neither in a time like this. Not long after, the police were summoned to close off access as the waters of the Rio Minho rose to threatening levels. Not only did Mother Nature rise significantly above the six feet guard, but the intense force cut through concrete, slicing sections of the bridge's pier, eating away the soil, the smooth surface now more like a jigsaw puzzle. Napa made a site visit, but no crocs were spotted. Hopefully it stays that way. In the meantime, some big vehicles dared to drive over. Smaller ones followed suit. With signs like these, residents are being cautioned every step of the way along this thoroughfare. Now, why would they not take heed? The authorities now have a big problem again, as for years there have been conflicting arguments between residents as to how best to treat with a connection to the communities in southeast and southwest Clarendon. We want railing, we want everything, don't you say? No, you can't reel. See? Because, trust me, a disaster, don't you say? I'm Colin Brown, reporting for CVM News.